Hello and welcome to this video. Today we're taking a look at RTrader Pro and we're gonna talk about how to trade directly from an Excel spreadsheet. Now in a previous video we have gone through how to actually send live streaming data from any of these different windows directly into an Excel spreadsheet. So we'll go ahead and start off with that here. Uh, I'm gonna use the quote board today, although you could use another um, option here. We have things like an order book that you can actually send straight to Excel as well. Again, I'm just gonna use the order book, so I'll go ahead and type in my symbol. Uh, we'll just use the ES as an example today. You can see we are getting live data here. You'll see our bid and offer are uh, updating as well as our last traded price. What I'm gonna do is uh, to actually get an Excel spreadsheet open for streaming this data here, so streaming all of these uh, different values directly into an Excel spreadsheet. We're gonna to go to uh, our toolbar here, right mouse click, and we're gonna use export as CSV. CSV is just a format for a spreadsheet. You can see there are a few different options. We can export just as a static CSV, so just whatever those values happen to be at the moment, I click there. We can also schedule it to send, uh, so that may be beneficial uh, in maybe logging your order history into spreadsheets. But we also have the option to create live streaming spreadsheets, so either a live streaming spreadsheet here or a linkable live streaming spreadsheet. You can see an option to pause streaming at times. What I'm gonna do is create a live streaming spreadsheet. I'm gonna choose the linkable mode. And that is going to open up an Excel spreadsheet in the background. I'm gonna go ahead and just open that up here and I'll maximize this uh, uh, so that you can see that as well. Now you can see that this uh, spreadsheet is, just like it said, live and streaming. We're seeing these values change right before our eyes here, right within the spreadsheet. So meaning uh, we can actually uh, manipulate this this data here and do calculations we can use Excel formulas to uh, make these calculations now what you might also notice here at the bottom is that there are a few different sheets we have the quote board here we have the place order sheet and we also have a quote board full which is similar to that first quote board except it does have some extra values here that you can view we're gonna go ahead and focus on the place orders option today. So the place orders option is where we actually configure our spreadsheet to send orders back to our Trader Pro. So here's what we need to do. We need to fill out these different values here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use this first column. I'm gonna type in buy here since I wanna do a buy order. Then we just go ahead and set up our quantity. I'm gonna set up a quantity of one, the symbol. I'm gonna choose the ESZ3 today. The exchange that is on is the CME. And what you'll notice here is that uh, we have a status that is uh, populating and changing as we go throughout these values. So if you forget one or one is empty, it'll let you know what that is before you can actually place this order. We have options for market, limit, stop limit, and stop market orders. I'm gonna choose a market order here. So I'll just type that in. Uh, since I am using a market order, I don't need to enter in a limit or a stop price, but of course, if you were using a limit or stop order, you need to populate those fields. You can see the next one is account ID is empty. It knows that I don't need to enter in the limit or the stop price, so I'm gonna enter in my account ID. Now, we also see some optional uh, fields here, duration and route, and uh, we also have these two last options which are very important here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just enable this. So that means I can actually place an order here. It's going to place as soon as I type in yes into this uh, cell here. So see, all it's waiting for is a yes. So let's go ahead and click yes and see what happens. We'll go ahead and just type that in. As soon as I send enter, it's going to go ahead and send that uh, order. So I'll go ahead and click yes. You see fill for account, uh, bot one. Uh, that is there. So if we go back to our Trader Pro, kind of bring that up here. We'll bring up a uh, order book just to kind of compare. Now you see on my order book, I do have a position of one now. So I did get into the market here. I am long one contract by sending that order straight from my Excel spreadsheet here. Just using that, you can see the status is now that the order is submitted. So if I go ahead and uh, clear out that, uh, now it's going to go ahead and just wait again for that yes. So I don't need to enter these in every time. I can actually set these up for maybe some familiar order types that I want to uh, place. So if I wanted to do the opposite here, I can actually just go ahead and fill that out. So yes, Z3, CME here, we'll do another market. So a sell market as opposed to a buy market. And we'll even enable that. Now what I could also do is set up other order types. So I can uh, go ahead and we'll just differentiate these. So I'll go ahead and maybe in this case here, I'll set up a buy, but I'm gonna set a quantity of two. So uh, what this is gonna do is if I was short one, 
This will allow me to just reverse my position. And we'll go ahead and enable that. And of course, what I can do is I can uh, label these. So I could set up one of these other columns that isn't within this A through M. And I'll go ahead and just say reverse. We'll say for this one, cell one market. So I can kind of identify these by one market. And now we can use these different options. So I'm currently long one. I want to go ahead and uh, uh, just go flat here. So I'm going to use this cell one market. I'll go ahead and click yes. You see our order did actually send to our trader. So let's go ahead and open up our trader. You can see I am now flat. My position is zero here. That got me out of the market. So this is a pretty useful tool here as far as um, you know setting up these orders. And what you can do is you can actually set up these conditionally. So for these cells here, uh, instead of just typing in yes or typing in no uh, to actually place these orders, um, you know, in that case, it may be easier just to use these buy market, sell market, or reverse position uh, options here. But uh, what we might want to do uh, is to actually manipulate the data within that spreadsheet. So uh, when using these spreadsheets, of course, it works just as you would with an Excel spreadsheet. You can actually link these uh, values here. So for example, I could set up something like if the bid size was above 1200, go ahead and buy one at market and just do that using these Excel formulas. And uh, of course, that would allow me to place these orders. So uh, you can see that that can be pretty useful as far as using this Excel. Uh, you don't have to be an expert programmer. You just need to uh, learn how to use these different Excel formulas. And that can accelerate um, you know, uh, working on your trading formulas in many cases. If you have any questions about trading directly from uh, Excel with RTrader Pro or any questions about RTrader Pro in general, please feel free to let us know by giving us a call or shooting us an email.